the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things He's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. And so therefore, God tells you to do something that should line up with what he called you to do. Here's the scriptures I put up here just to, to we ain't got to go through all those, but I wanted to show the example. One, one of the Samuel, like I said, we just talked about that Samuel, where Eli, you remember that story of Eli and Samuel when he was young? And, and like I said, he, he said, go back and says, speak, Lord. Here I am, speak, Lord. Uh, mm -hmm. And hearing God's voice. Uh, but the one I, I really like, and this you can see, you can try anything one on that one is, I like the one in Numbers 12, 1 through 14. That's when Aaron and Mo, Aaron and Miriam sit there and say, God talks to us too. <laughs> and, and, and oh man, that, that kind of reflects on the fact that some people get to being religious and saying is, I hear from God too. I hear God's voice too. So, so, so you ain't all that in the bag of potato chips because I can hear from them too. And, uh -huh. and, 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 and I, what I like was that when God came down, God was just distinguishing the difference between Moses and everybody else, right? He said, if there's a prophet among you, I'll speak to you in visions and in dreams, right? But, but not so for my servant Moses. I, mm -hmm. I'll speak to him face to face, mouth to mouth. Right, and, and, and so most people, you hear something said, I, "Well, I heard from God." Yeah, you heard from God. What did He tell you? Right, <laughs> good. Uh -huh. yeah, that's fine. He told you. That's good. But when He started getting a point of telling you what to do, we started directing you. Now I think we got to watch out for that. So, mm -hmm. hey, like you said, I like your part. We're just saying is be conscious of making sure you're not responding to God in the flesh when you're trying to communicate with him or, mm -hmm. or, or mis mis misdirected because you thought you heard from God because it appeals to your flesh. Amen? Mm -hmm. Amen. Yeah, the other one came in is uh, Matthew 16, 13 to 23. This is where, uh, well, actually it's 16, I mean 13 to, uh, uh, what's that, 20, where where Jesus, this, uh, Peter said, there, said, thou the Christ. He was Jesus asking him, who does who people said that I am? Right? And, and, and Peter mm -hmm. said, Thou the Christ, the Son of the Living God. I mean, I even felt like he probably said it with conviction. You know? He he mm -hmm. he heard he heard something, but he didn't know he heard something, because the Bible didn't say Peter understood that he heard something. It was Jesus who said, Flesh and blood didn't reveal that to you. Mm -hmm. But my father in heaven revealed that to you. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, he's 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 explaining to him. You, good, man, you said it. You on it, but you didn't get that from flesh and blood. Mm -hmm. that, which lies in what you were saying is, you didn't get that from your flesh. That wasn't your flesh guiding you on this. Mm -hmm. Nobody mm -hmm. else either. Uh, you didn't get that from. You got that from Father, from Heaven. And that's that's when God is actually. I like that. That was more like a confirmation for Peter, basically that one. But at the mm -hmm. same time, if you look at it in, from 21, or what do you say, let me see here, from, I think it's from like, like that's from 21 to 23, Peter said, you, you, you're not gonna die. And Jesus said there said, get behind me, Satan. I mean, this is the same chapter, right? <laughs> It, it right. almost implied it was not too far from one another or events from one another when Jesus was talking about how he's going to die and rise again. And Peter was sitting there saying, no, you ain't dying. You ain't dying. And then he said there and told Peter, said, get behind me, Satan. Mm -hmm. You Now you're mindful of the things, which goes back to what you said again. You're mindful of the things of man, mm -hmm. not, not God. Mm -hmm. and, and, and now now I have to tell you get behind me Satan because he's addressing Satan through Peter mm -hmm. and that's how and I think know, go ahead and I was just going to say you know the thing about that to me I think at least right now what it tells me is how again subtle mm. 
uh, Satan can work yeah. in us. Because what Peter said on the surface makes sense. <laughs> Reasonable, yeah. <laughs> you know, you, you, hey, look, we didn't been with you. We've been rolling with you. Um, you know, you're a good guy. You done done all of this stuff, doing these things. Ain't no way, nah, -uh, not happening. You know, <laughs> and and so that makes sense. Woo! But, 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 the 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 Woo! and again, we just taking going back to Genesis right quick. Yeah. You know, we're quick to to blame Eve, and we're quick quick to to blame Adam. Yeah. But against the wiles of 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 Lucifer, look what kind of chance they really had. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So what kind of chance do we think we really have unless we are doing what we can to remain connected to the Holy Spirit? Yes, sir. You know, and so uh, I, I, yeah, I don't. Hey, I, I, I look at these guys and what they went through. And again, we have the benefit of the word yes. and we can analyze and dice and 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 and, and uh, you know go through all of these scenarios what they could have should have done and they should have known but no you know and each of us are experiencing our own daily scenarios daily. yeah and um and so i mean praise god that he he has given us all of this so that we can recognize exactly you know and and so now when things are happening i and, and you know you you spoke earlier uh, do we need to continue to ask? Do I go back to the Father and pray about the same thing again? Come on, well, man. I might need to so that I can be sure that I'm prompted by the Holy Spirit and not just something that I think, yeah, well, that only makes sense. Yes, sir. <laughs> In my logic, this is, this is what I need to do. Yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. It, it lines up that subtleness because mm -hmm. he, he does, you know, like I said, I think when, when Satan came in, he's subtle and it says it was subtle. He, he appealed to their flesh, saying, this will make you wise, right? Yeah. This will make you be like God. Mm -hmm. now, 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 maybe, Bishop, maybe the scripture didn't tell them that you were made, you know, that Adam didn't hear that he was made in the image of God. I, I don't know. I mean, the scripture said, let us make man in our own flesh, right? I'm not flesh, but not in our likeness, right? And he said that, let us make a man in our own image. I guess question is, is it's not clear. I know God gave him dominion. We say he gave him dominion because he signed Adam signed naming the animals. But did he understand that he was already made in the likeness or the image of God? I, I don't know. I don't know if that was given to mm -hmm. him. Go ahead. Let me go back to something that uh, like Matthew chapter 16. Let me get it. I'm going to pull it out. Too. It's coming in. Let me get it. Clear. What, what verse are you looking at, Bishop? Same verse? Yeah, verse number 16. I mean, verse number 21. 21, okay. It says that uh, from that time, began Jesus to show unto his disciples how that he must go unto Jerusalem and suffer many things of the elders and chief priests and scribes and be killed and be raised again the third day. Then Peter took him and began to rebuke him, saying, Be it far from thee, or this shall not be unto thee. Uh -huh. But he turned and said unto Peter, get thee behind me, Satan, thou art an offense unto me, for thou savest not the thing that be of God, but the thing that be of me. Mm. Now, I just want to make sure that if you say that Peter's response makes sense, uh -huh. you, you better be very clear on what plane you're talking about it makes sense. Right, on the cardinality side. <laughs> from, Jesus, from Jesus' perspective, it makes no sense at all. Mm. <laughs> and it draws, it draws on what I believe to be one of the sharpest rebukes that a man can ever receive to be able to, for Jesus to turn to you 
and indicate that you're really in the hands of Satan. Woo! Mm -hmm. That you have the control. You know, here you are in my camp, a part of my party, a part of, what, of the mission that God has assigned to me. Yeah, yeah. And yet, this is the scary part. Yeah. That you can be in that close proximity. Come on now, come on. And yet be the enemy. Yeah. 